<coughs> Welcome back. Just before the break, we were talking to our distinguished guest, Mr. T. M. Ahmad Keshar. He is the director, the president of uh, Shoda. Uh, he was explaining the work of Shoda, the Society for the Promotion of Classical Indian Music. And also he was talking about the remedial work of the music. And I'm a, I am a bit uh, intrigued by this word, in remedial. What does it correct? Well, so, this is, uh, I was talking about the, uh, the uh, quite a psychological uh, functions of music. Mm -hmm. Music is used as a therapy. Right. And, and it is a proven way. Mm -hmm. It uh, can make us happy. Yeah, yeah because uh, especially the more we are becoming urbanized, the more psychological complex we are mm -hmm. inviting, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, urbanization and modernization has a direct link to uh, neurosis and psychosis. You know. Why do they say that our sad songs are our best songs? Uh, well, this is, yeah, this is a key a famous yes. poetry, fa famous mm. poem, famous yeah. verse from uh, Nightingale. That is uh, true for our Indian classical music too, <coughs> because somehow, somehow the most profound ragas are linked to the sadness mm -hmm. and sorrowness. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is probably uh, um, true for Western. Also, also, all the Western symphonies are designed for uh, jolly mood as well. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. mainly, uh, probably this is a type, you know, a type of uh, the construction of human being or emotion, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the mm -hmm. emo emotional construction of human being. Uh, you are, you are, you you won't have a. Pr a profound, you won't have, you won't be in a th profound thinking process until you are uh, somehow probably, uh, I should say, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, sadly connected because sadness is somehow the yes. replaces the word profoundness. Yes, you are serious. When you are jolly, yes. When you are jolly, you are not serious at all. Mm -hmm. But when you are sad, you are thinking so much. Mm -hmm. So sadness somehow links to uh, a very profound stage yes. of our human beings. Looking so I, at I your life, your, uh, the area around you, uh, with, with a different profoundness than you would be jumping up and down see, and True. enjoying life. So I always say, I, I mean, uh, that is also <coughs> quoted from uh, one of our teachers who used to say, who, who used to ask me, when did you cry last? So you can't yeah. be a profound, you can't be a serious man unless you cry secretly yeah. uh, once in a month or something like this. So, so it looks like that it has somehow connection right. uh, to... Uh, but to, to so many people today, I mean, in our modern societies, the big boys don't cry. <laughs> yeah, probably. And, and, and to see being uh, uh, sorry or being uh, sad is often related to uh, its kind of weakness in personalities. That may not be true, but uh, this is how it is portrayed, isn't it? See? Yeah. Now let's come back yeah. to music. See? Yeah. So, <laughs> well, uh, this is uh, true. I mean, uh, but music has uh, a very, uh, well, in my understanding, even though if you are serious or if, even though if you are, if you go through huge crisis mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. your mind or something like this, so, uh, I mean, psychological crisis probably, music mm -hmm. works. Yeah. Although this yes, is a sad music. I mean, uh, you will see Rabindranath Tagore uh, says, Anando dhara bohicho vibhuvane rag malkosh. Uh, but rag malkosh is again a reserve, uh, mm -hmm. mo I mean, displays a res reserve mode of a human being. And then, Although you are saying Ananda Dhara, but you are, you are reflecting a very profound pain of human being. Mm -hmm. So although what you are saying, that is not true. What is you portraying, mm -hmm. what you are portraying is completely different. So like, uh, uh, that's why probably you, you mentioned that. That is yeah. a very well-quoted uh, yeah. yeah. uh, verses yeah. from Music can Shelley. alleviate your feelings. It can make you sad. It can make you serious. It can make you jump with joy and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's why people dance. Yeah, but this, this sadness is not designed to, to make you sad. Right. This, sad, this sadness 
a, is something that makes you to have a quest yep. to have a to to have a quest to explore more and more i mean to to take you to a serious phase right so this sadness also although this is all about sadness sorrowness uh, but this sadness when you probably well we have got so many influxes of audiences who are quite new audience uh, mm. and then they always say uh, uh, probably well they when you look at from the stage to the right. audience you find so many people are sort of closing well, we their eyes and listening. We have got a video waiting for us. All oh, right, okay. Let well, us have that yeah. and then uh, probably we'll, we'll our probably audience will understand talking. it more what you're talking about. Oh, beautiful. Can we have the video please? new audience. We are trying to amalgamate with poetry and classical music, bringing new young talents, young poets to come forward to read their own poetry. And the main objective is people who are poetry lovers. It can be Urdu poetry, it can be Persian poetry, English poetry. They are coming to listen to poetry. At the same time, they are getting a taste of the version of Indian classical music. to get the whole community to come be involved, be a part of our concerts, be a part of our projects. We do quite a lot of seminars, we do festivals, we do school workshops with little children. It's getting everyone have their talents to, so that we can actually promote them. At the same time, we create something like a guldasta, we call it a flower, bokeh flower. Poetry as a media that will interpret the mood of classical music because people always find the struggle and different verses that we interpret that classical music in a different way. And we research and we've chosen verses of poetry. The rains have come. The rains have come. The rains have come. The fields are flooded. My heart is flooded. My heart is flooded with the pain of my love. With the pain of my love. She is far, far away, across the dark waters. I have had no word for far, far too long. Far, far too long. And my hope is trying not to drown. My hope is trying not to drown. My tears fall, counting the time. My tears fall, counting the time. Till her words reach me, oh my hope. Well, that, that, was, that was a good recital and good tabla was because of the shortness of all, all the, 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 the video is not long enough. We couldn't have but they are understand. actually, they but, are uh, the best. But um, I'm sure that <coughs> next time when we have them, we will have the entire group here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, your, uh, this, when, when did you establish this society? For? About four years ago. Four yeah. years ago. Four years. So uh, 2012. Uh, and uh, February to the what, what triggered you, uh, the establishment of society and who well, are the other persons uh, behind it? Uh, because I had a, like I said, I had a serious admiration for serious art form, uh, poetry and classical music. So I managed to go to one of the concert of Chandraji, mm -hmm. uh, who mm -hmm. is one of the finest Indian classical vocalists, like I've said before. Uh, and 
somebody else, well, before I went to uh, Chandraji's event, mm -hmm. someone, a friend of mine actually, who has a significant journey in uh, classical music, Indian classical music, mm -hmm. called Soyodalam Prince, he actually uh, sent me a link of Chandraji's uh, mand. She mm -hmm. was singing a mand, a beautiful mand, and I was going through huge personal crisis at the time, and mm -hmm. music was the only way, uh, only uh, uh, solace. Only solace, yes. Music was only solace to me. And then um, he asked <coughs> me to listen to this. And then I, I started listening that month, uh, uh, probably early, uh, about 11 o'clock, and then I finished about 5 p.m., uh, repeatedly listening. And it's such a beautiful artwork, such a beautiful musical work. Mm -hmm. And her voice was almost, you know, celestial, almost seraphic. Uh, then, uh, I heard from him actually that she's she is going to have a she's going to attend in a concert, and then I attended that concert uh, luckily, and then I managed to talk to her, and then I just said, uh, "Would you be interested in if we just try to uh, combine poetry and classical music somehow?" And then I just because I write poetry, probably I have a bit of convincing power. And then mm -hmm. I managed to convince her uh, in, in that stage, mm -hmm. actually. You she write poetry in what language? Uh, both English and uh, Bengali. Great. So, <laughs> I mean, poets are, uh, uh, poets have a, quite a bad name of convincing people, probably. Mm -hmm. They are persistent. <laughs> <Because laughs> rhetoric. I mean, they, they're probably, uh, they have, they, they can, uh, I mean, politicians are somehow blamed for rhetorics, but rhetorics mm -hmm. is something uh, a poet's work, yes. anyway. Uh, uh, I, I quite luckily uh, managed to convince her. She, I mean, because obviously she has such a good, such a great name mm -hmm. in Indian. But she, she came. She's a scholar. She was a scholar of uh, Sangeet Research Academy, mm -hmm. the great uh, musical institution. And she was, she came. She was the disciple of Eti Kananji, uh, and such a big name in uh, Indian classical music. And then I just, uh, I wasn't sure whether she will respond to me and how mm -hmm. she will see this. Uh, but uh, three or four days. After uh, she responded, when she said, "Well, let's see," because she was quite fastidious as well. She uh, she doesn't uh, seem to fluctuate from traditional way of Indian classical music. Uh, but I was talking about uh, the the great impact mm -hmm. if we just connect poetry, if we just connect Kathak dance, if we just connect other form of art, right. then we are expanding the network of Indian classical music. And she was intrigued by this idea. Uh, then uh, I just invited her to be the artistic director uh, of Shoto. Uh, quite fortunately, she uh, she said okay, and then 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 uh, Shoto's journey actually started, and right. uh, we managed to. Uh, this time, actually, people quite uh, uh, luckily, uh, our uh, in such a short period of time. Uh, uh, this, I mean, from Bengali background uh, in England, uh, there is no significant uh, organization to promote Indian classical music. Mm -hmm. You see Bhavan, they are not Bengali, right. uh, either from Kolkata or Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. uh, you see Darbar festival, they are not. So Indian classical music was somehow, uh, 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 I mean, somehow uh, linked to non-Bengali uh, uh, people actually, non-Bengali uh, art admirers. Yes, because in India, West Bengal is only a part of West Bengal. Yeah, but, but I mean, uh, India. Uh, but when you when you talk about Indian classical music, Bengalis have so much contribution to yeah, most. Of, most of the I mean, uh, most, of the Ustad, most of the start. And also, I mean, most of the starts have a second home in Kolkata, but uh, quite unfortunately, there is no any uh, Bengali. Art, I mean, serious art organization. We probably they, uh, you will find some organizations. They they organize a classical music event once in a blue moon, but there is no any professional art organization who what is dedicated to promote Indian classical music to global platform with a vision. And then we started this journey because uh, we uh, we are in a campaign to like uh, like we always said that we are in a campaign to create new audience of Indian classical music in the West. So where Ravi Shankar actually finishes, we, we try to start our journey from that point. Great. Yeah. On that point, we'll take a break. 
And when we come back, I'm Good. sure that we will explore the possibilities of your work going further ahead. Beautiful. Thank you for being with us. Uh, at this point, we take a break, and when we come back, our journey will continue with you in the Indian classical music field. See you soon. <laughs>